So let's discuss a few ways to begin learning how to exhale completely. Number one is just consciously try to extend your exhale. Extending the exhale is the fastest way to bring our nervous system back to baseline. Number two is think about the metric of breathe in to a count of four and out to a count of eight. Doesn't need to be seconds, but just doubling the exhale. Third one I really like is breath in to a count of four, hold for a count of seven, and then breathe out to a count of eight. Fourth one is think about a double inhale through the nose and an extended exhale through the mouth. Double inhale, extended exhale. That is a really neat one. It captures a particular circuit in our brain to control our nervous system. Another way is to breathe out all of the way, which takes quite a while. Don't rush it. Try to do that complete exhale. And then hold your breath for three seconds at that point of full exhalation. And then very easy when you go to breathe in, don't gasp. Try to just take a gentle inhale, keep the chin tucked to lock it, and expand your ribcage. You should feel that there's something delicious about that. That breath in when you have actually taken the time to breathe out all of the way is with your diaphragm and it is such a lovely feeling compared to pulling air in with our accessory muscles of breathing. Couple of tips with all of these. It is your abdominal wall, especially TA and IO, internal oblique, that really help to draw those ribs down to our hips to create that position where the ribcage comes down in the front to dome the diaphragm. I still want you to think about keeping your spine tall so you're not curling into a ball. You have a tall spine, but you're trying abs, 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 abs to bring those ribs down, draw them down towards your hips and make sure when you do it, your belly doesn't pooch out. It's a strong, convincing ab wall. And when you're doing that, again, as I mentioned, don't rush it. This takes time and I would rather you did two, three, five, full complete breaths out rather than 10 and you're just going part way. The goal is to learn to breathe out completely.